Hello, my name is Yogini Rasa and I'm certified open yoga teacher. Let me welcome you to the site yogaopenyoga.com for all those wonderful people who want to learn yoga. And we are on the course about the fundamental principles of yoga and this is the step two. And we continue to discuss our first principle of yoga. Um, we remember that yoga is self-exploration and exploring of the universe is the whole system that is based on the two yoga principles the first and the second there are others but the first two are the fundamental ones uh, we know that the first principle sounds that we should do the maximum to avoid causing harm uh, to any living being unless there is uh, emergency or there is uh, no other way out of the situation and the second part of the, the same first principle means that if it's impossible to cause no harm then we should follow our duty or dharma. Um, if you kind of look at the first principle and uh, if I would ask you at any moment of the day or night uh, it would, if you plan to become a yogi you should learn it by heart. You should really read this principle once and once again. Choose kind of the best version um, or the best explanation of it because sometimes we mix uh, one or two words and you kind of uh, are invited to choose your version and uh, repeat, repeat and repeat. Um, write it down by your hand. Make it uh, in a visible place. Um, and think about it because it has so many uh, layers that uh, there is work for uh, next years to come and we uh, every time uh, when we will talk in our classes as well as in other aspects uh, are able to um, discover new and new aspects of this principle thereby uh, you can use your uh, yoga diary and the homeworks for the courses as the possibility to write down your aspects, your thoughts, and this really helps in your understanding of this principle. Um, this is the principle of kindness um, we, that we say the first principle or the principle of Ahimsa or the principle of the supreme logic in everyday life. There are many different names, but the meaning stays the same. While for the other terms like Dharma, there are a lot of meanings and a lot of ways to understand, depending on the context. Of course, um, each and every time we will face uh, the situation, uh, we will see the context and applying of the first principle. Because it's always, if it's on the paper, it's black and white usually. But when it comes to the life, it gets so many colors, so many shapes that it's uh, not that easy to make the decision whether it's kindness or it's um, something very bad. So it takes time to understand it. Especially when you come to the texts and yoga texts, you have to understand there is the person who has written uh, or um, said the statement, there is uh, the person listening to the statement, there is media uh, transferring this um, text or the information and there are some obstacles on the way that are interfering. Uh, how we understand the first principle or how we understand anything in, in this life, that's our experience, the, the, fa the things that we have faced in our life, uh, how we work with ourselves and how we see the world, thereby um, while we would watch the same uh, material or read the same book, uh, each of us is taking something different out of it. And uh, this can be opposite things, that's, um, that's okay. And uh, it's very interesting to read the same book several times during the lifetime in order to kind of get the different meanings of it. So uh, choose your book um, that you have read before at least once, probably twice, and, and read it um, several more times. No rush, uh, just, just as the um, kind of suggestion, but the recommendation about the first principle of yoga and repeating it 
uh, it's on the your timetable if you are willing to become a yoga student and or a yoga instructor or even a yoga teacher that actually is possible and there's a lot of information about it on our website so yes we have to know the how this material has come and how we understand it there are a lot of people who are just like taking the direct meaning and saying okay uh, they wrote uh, this and that and thereby they are uh, I'm making the judgment that they are this way or that way for example people um, hurt someone uh, and there's all explanation of the suffering part but there's not uh, other consequences that are really there after this action just taking these two uh, out of the context so be careful when you judge you make the judgments uh, it's easy to make the judgment uh, can be difficult to understand somebody thereby slowly uh, no sharp movements uh, and and this will be helpful um, and again uh, the first principle of yoga is about the least uh, possible harm yeah, about the minimizing of the harm it's not possible to do no harm as we uh, understood uh, or talked uh, last time but there are many possibilities to to minimize it and we try to make the actions based on this minimization um, principle um, we all are making uh, our own rules and if we think what kind of world would you like to live in and we have to understand that uh, whatever we uh, kind of give to the world it comes back if we give kindness it will come back in the same way if we kind of make very sharp movements it will come back very sharply and, and might um, we might dislike it if we do it for the wrong reasons again um, there the world can be tricky and when we don't have the uh, kind of full notion, full knowledge of it. Uh, it is, uh, it is tricky. It takes time. Thereby, it's very, very interesting, and it's uh, kind of a lot of waste for self exploration, exploring of the universe, and, and growing. If you would ask me, I would call this course "Forming of the Foundation for Happiness." But um, let's st stay for the first and the second principle for now then uh, yes about the sharp actions be careful a lot of sharp actions bring uh, negative results like a lavine uh, at first it's like a small uh, snowball and when it comes down that there is a lot of a lot of problems there but be careful small steps forward um, no sharp movements uh, that's like uh, if you were eating one food don't replace it immediately by something else just because you decided to become yogi um, otherwise it again brings you back and and you have to restart in even uh, kind of uh, more problematic situations if it comes naturally and your body says yes I'm ready and and I feel it then good but you can decrease something that you don't like in your diet in the same way what else um, when we talk about the first principle we come to the notion again about Dharma and duty um, because in this context we translate this term as the duty and uh, there is a big difference if you punch somebody because you don't like the person or you kind of push somebody away uh, in order to avoid uh, some accident with the car of course uh, the feeling of punching is uh, unpleasant for the man who is punched and some, the, sometimes we even don't want to push or, or do anything, but uh, we are thinking about the consequences. Uh, is it our duty to help or um, we just stand aside and look how others are doing and, and not intervening? Of course, there are some situations when people are whining, uh, complaining about their lives, that everything is so bad, that they are so misfortunate, nobody is willing to help them while actually they are the ones who are not willing to help themselves and only people uh, we can help those people who are ready to help themselves thereby um, there's also a difference because sometimes we start helping somebody 
and they start using it and then stepping back is again understanding if we are going to hurt this person because there will be some suffering for this person if we step aside and not help anymore the same situation is with the business there are a lot of companies working and there are a lot of bosses in the companies a lot of employees and uh, employees like blaming their bosses for not paying them enough and uh, while bosses like blaming their employees for um, being too lazy two different parts uh, who of them is right and who is wrong uh, that's the question um, probably both of them are right and both are wrong but uh, it's the duty of the boss to keep the control of their employees to kind of um, to keep the things going and to be able to pay them the salary um, and also for the people to assess if their boss uh, is um, is doing good enough as their boss or there should be some um, kind of changes made in their career thereby don't put this in, in black and white uh, always kind of uh, try to um, be more realistic and this is uh, when we talk, is it fair or not? Judge, you are the judge for this situation, you are judge for yourself. But don't try to judge others rather than uh, kind of first assessing your situation and your actions, your thoughts, your words. What else? Um, there are no bad or good people. They're all nice and, and wonderful if we uh, kind of uh, see at their very essence. But of course we need to do some actions um, that is actually for the second principle of yoga that we will talk next time and uh, for your homework um, even if you don't see any sense in the first principle of yoga try to play it um, try to be kind to people nice uh, of course follow your duty but um, um, politeness, kindness, helping hand and other things uh, can be helpful and uh, analyze the situation that's happening afterwards let's say uh, play it for two three weeks and you will see how it it gradually like a snowball is coming to you in a good way and this is very pleasant thereby I hope your thumbs to see uh, uh, under this lesson and your comments uh, if not then um, that's okay, it's your decision, I'm not judging you and um, I hope it, it really really helps and I'll see you in the next class and test is yours.